Well, morning folks, look where we are. It's a beautiful East holiday weekend. It's been raining torrentially all week and it even snowed yesterday over in Germany. Awesome. Ah, I can see. So I am on my way from misery to happiness today. Oh, oh. I'm on my way to Germany to go and meet Andy Mancamp. We got ourselves a collab. But we've also got some traffic. Hmm. We're not getting the 11.35, are we? That's 10 past 11 now, and we haven't moved for about 10 minutes. <sighs> We're off to a good start. Hello, mate, how are you doing? I'm oh, not bad, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Oh, is it? Really good day to have a <laughs> you go on whichever train they're loading at the time. Beautiful. Happy days. Nice one. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you. Go. Nice one. Didn't realise I'd booked Flexi. Happy days. Frenchy passport control. Nearly there. Bonjour. Okay. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, it's cold on your wee hands when you've not got any gloves on. Seven degrees. Flexi, right, the Flexi fair, that means you literally just turn up and you can go on any train that's ready. So, all right. Thanks, bud, appreciate it. Beautiful. So when you come to the tunnel, you'll see here, they bring you down and plonk you over at the edge. Because generally, you're either very first or very last on. But that is us. Pretty clever bit of engineering, this. Gets arctics on it, all sorts. That's slidey, that is. You gotta be careful in here because these floors in the wet are like ice. All the fumes and stuff, you just get a fuel residue on the floor, plus the metal's slidey anyway. But just watch that when you come here. Cool. There you go. Yeah, hello, mate, how you doing? You're insane, your staff, I'll help you, Roll on, 25-odd minutes later, and roll off. So, it's going to be about five and a half hours, I think, to get to Arnsberg. This says I should get there about five past six. P16, Lille, Brussels. of the world, Germany. I really do like it. We're just coming up to the unrestricted bit. So let's see. Let's see what we can get out of hell. on the jigsaw. <laughs> Nearly at yeah. Armsburg. Fairly painless journey so far. Now, I think we're here. I think. <laughs> Hello, old <B. laughs> How, How are you? Are you alright? 
Well, morning folks. At least the morning after the night before. We have tried to sync up the Bluetooth headsets. I've got the Pack Talk, the Cardo Spack. Oh, hang on. Mine just did something. It just beeped in my ear. But anyway, we couldn't quite manage it. So, for the first bit at least, you're going to have to put up with my dulcet tones. Where are we off to today then, Andy? Where are we off to? Yeah. Where are we not off to? We're doing like all it. of it. Everything Germany's got, we're going to look at it. Excellent, like that. Stripper joints and bars then, please. Only kidding, wife, only kidding. Except for beer, we'll hold that for later. <laughs> yeah, they were quite nice, those beers last night. I'm doing that. And I had a schnitzel. Right. And off we go. Really nice lad, Andy. We had a good chat last night. A lovely fella. So we're staying in a town called Arnsberg, which is sort of east of Dortmund. And Andy's got us a bit of a route through the woods. That's where we went last night in there. Had some schnitzel and some beers. Good times. Looking forward to this today. Should be a good giggle. And it stopped raining. Apparently it was snowing yesterday. <laughs> but the old forecast shows that uh, it's done the rain for today. So we should be nice and dry. Fingers crossed. Right, well, we've filled up with fuel. It's an impressive camera setup Andy's got there. He uses the Sony's. Quite a, a chunky remote control unit. But that's good when you're on the bike because, you know, the new Drift 4K remote has a big gripe of mine. It's so small and finicky. When you're riding, you don't want to have to concentrate on where your, your finger's going, so to speak. You know, the Ghost S remote is nice, big, chunky buttons. And Andy's one's like that as well. It works. All his cameras. It can work up to five cameras off the one remote. That's a great idea. Drift, please, can we have that in the next incarnation? Please, please, pretty please. Thank you. I don't think I've made it common knowledge, but I've actually been made a brand ambassador for Drift. Yeah, that surprised me as much as everybody else, to be honest, after my review of the 4K model. It wasn't exactly flattering, but, you know, you'll think I'm saying this because I've been made the ambassador, but I think fair play to Drift, to be honest with you, because they've taken that on board. I've been given another 4K unit, so I've got to try and test that and see if that performs as badly as, as my original one did or perhaps maybe they've sorted out a lot of issues so we're also hopefully going to be working for the future and trying to develop another model for you know in a year two years time so fingers crossed and i'd appreciate your feedback as well folks if there's things that you'd like to see in a camera let me know and let's see what we can do i was going to bring the drift 4k for this but in all honest with you, I haven't got the confidence in, in the 4K yet and bearing in mind this is this is quite a special deal coming all the way over here and meeting up with Andy. You know, I, I didn't want to use the camera and then it not work for whatever reason. So I've stuck with the Ghost S for this one. But I will start using the 4K once I'm home. These are nice roads, these. I do like the German forest lined roads that they have. Great fun on sports bikes. Ridiculously fast. Beautiful lake. We are on the B229 at the moment. Oh, this is rather splendid, isn't it? Now, I know we are heading towards the Mon Monhus Dam, I think, at some point. No, this may well be it. And if it is, it's one of the dams that was targeted as part of 617 Squadron Dam Busters. So see, every day is a school day with Teapot. I took you to Lady Bower Dam, where they tested the bombs and equipment and practiced, ready for the raids. And now we've gone to one of the reservoirs. Oh, if only school was this much fun. Hiya! Sorry, it's getting a wee bit windy, folks. I've had to crack open the visor because my, my helmet is steaming up. God, I just sound like Baron Von Grumble now. It's innuendo after innuendo, sorry. Wow, pretty nice, huh? Okay, I've had confirmation that is Lake Monzi or Monzi Reservoir. I've just seen some signs. It is a big old stretch of water. We've been riding for about 10, 15 minutes since the, maybe more since I last spoke with you. And we're still alongside it. Andy does like to lean off the bike, so if we can get some dry roads, I reckon he could be quite spirited. I've got my beard spunk on, and I'm up for everything today. Uh, he's off! <laughs> Yeehaw, let's go! Ugh. Yeah, that was a lot more pedestrian than I'd hoped. <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> it's all 30s and 50s and 70s, isn't it? The map, it looked great. That was the Monzi. Yeah. yeah. I've got to that we haven't got the old intercom working. It'd be really nice to chat with Andy as we're, as we're going along. Next time we stop, folks, I'll see what we can do. Bearing in mind this is the pack talk, one of their all singing, all dancing flagship models, you should be able to do it. I even brought the destructions with me. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not a man, I know. I apologise, gents. But I brought the instructions with me. Just hoping that it may facilitate connection. But the instructions aren't very instructional. They literally just said to connect via Bluetooth, connect via Bluetooth. That's it. <laughs> Doesn't tell you how to do it. These are nice and twisty roads, these. They've just got silly speed limits, so you'd need to be a little bit naughty to enjoy yourself. Which I'm quite prepared to do, but when it's been raining and there's two of us, maybe not such a good idea. Nationals. Yeehaw! <laughs> Fun, enjoyed that. It's a shame we haven't been able to get the audio all connected up and have a conversation. But if you are an Andy Mancam subscriber, feel free to pop over to Teapot One Vids. Have a look, see what you think. If you enjoy it, please subscribe. It'd be great to have you along. And obviously, if you're a regular Teapot Oneer, check out Andy Mancam's vids too. He's a good lad. He's got a sort of engineering product design background, so he likes to tinker in his garage. He's got some good videos. And I just, so I was just discussing his homemade heated vest. <laughs> I haven't seen that video yet. I'm going to have to check that out. I'll put a link here somewhere. He does like hanging off. <laughs> These Metzler Tourant's next tyres that I've got. They're not bad, they're all right. They don't give me as much confidence in the wet as, say, the Metzler Rotec 01s or the Dunlop Road Smart 3s. They were amazing. The wet grip of the Rotex is phenomenal too, actually. This is the L735, this is. Oh, I've got to say, I'm a little bit rusty there. <laughs> Oh bloody hell, I've let Andy get away. Right, let's go catch him up. Oh, what are you doing, smart? You plum. Well, this is all a bit weird. There's a sign back there that says no motorbikes on a Saturday and Sunday. So we thought, what sign? And carried on going. And then a bloke's just flagged us down in the street and basically said there's no motorbikes up here. So... We're kind of thinking Easter weekend, the chances are they'll probably be old Bill up there. And I don't see them being too forgiving. So I think we're going to miss this stretch out. Andy's just trying to work out his sat-nav. <laughs> there some lovely stretches back there, weren't there? Oh, that was great, wasn't there? Yeah. There's probably been multiple deaths, and that's why they've banned it. So we had to sack that one. We just come outside, out of our Arnsberg, and we're on Tutenberg. I think that road that doesn't allow bikes at the weekend, I think it was... Sudenerstrasse. But anyway, we are winging it. The L839. This is more like it. Yes. was a nice little bit of road. Okay, just had a wee stop, change of batteries. Off we jolly well. I have got a banging sore head. Yeehaw, liking that. <laughs> You're 
Bergenhausen or something like that. Yeah. Right, I should be ready to pair now. <laughs> right, are you are you on standby? Is that flashing red? Hello? So it didn't go to blue, did it? Um Oh. Oh we're in. Oh. Mine just went did 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 Is that you? Ah yeah yeah of course, of course. <laughs> okay. You've gone. <laughs> You've gone now. <gasps> oh, hang on. I've just gone. Brrrp. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, folks. We have managed to connect. See, I normally use I normally use my engine starting as the, as the sync point. Oh yeah. Well, that, I know you you toot your horn, don't you? I think it's easier with a twin because it's more blarty and thumpy. Whereas with the four, it's a bit too. Because that's a real word. <laughs> Right, I feel a little bit more alive now. How's your head? Better, better. Now I've got you shouting in it. <laughs> That's all exciting now we've got this working. Oh, it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Right. Testicles, spectacles, wallet and watch. That's yep. the one. Let's play. Oh, don't wave. Yeah, some of them are a bit too cool for school, aren't they? Yeah. Normally these bloody GS riders, they're normally a bunch of arses. Yeah, I'll be honest, there were a couple of times yesterday on the way here where I had to hold my tongue because I thought, hang on, I'm going to go and meet one of them guys. <laughs> I'm not a full-blown GS wanker, not yet. But you, you're saying there's still potential? Oh god, yeah. Once I get the full matching BMW suit. <laughs> ah, the beige one? Oh yeah. <laughs> It's got to be done. The difference is, the redeeming factor that's always going to make you okay, Bruce, is I've seen a picture with you with your knee down on a GS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes everything okay. Oh, they do like their speed limits here, don't they? Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. They're just, they're up and down like a yo-yo, aren't they? Luckily, speeding fines in Germany are very, very reasonable. That's good of them. And you don't get points on your license unless it's crazy fast, either. Yeah, that really annoys me in the UK. We get points for blooming looking the wrong way. You'll get, they'll give you a point now. The very first time I got flashed by a speed camera in Germany, I was in the girlfriend's car. Yeah. And I was, as you'd imagine, I was mortified, just like you'd be in England. Oh, I'm sorry, love, you're going to get a big fat fine. Well, I'm going to get a big fat fine and somebody's going to have to get points. And she was just like, meh, don't worry about it. And she was really, really chill out and I didn't quite understand why and she didn't understand why I was so upset I explained to her that it's a hundred quid and three points on your license and you already get 12 points in the UK yeah and she said oh that's ridiculous we'll get a 20 euro fine if, if that you know, we, we ended up getting I think I was doing 70 kilometers an hour in a 60 um, we got a 15 euro fine 15 15 one five <laughs> I got done in Portugal 160 miles an hour on my Jixa. Oh. <laughs> 200 euros. Well, all the copper said was, but you are not the quickest today. And he pointed at this guy in like a, I think it was a BMW, like a 5 Series. And he said he went. He was like 165 or something stupid. <laughs> We've been so lucky, haven't we? Because the forecast, I mean, yesterday was peeing down with rain. You said it was snowing back where you're from. Tomorrow <laughs> it's supposed to be rain, snowing back where you're from. So, yeah, yeah we, we've definitely locked locked out here. Days Good. like this made me think there is a god and he rides a motorbike. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I think they're going full circle. <laughs> it's a helter skelter. Oh, wow, look at that castle. That is quite cool. They know how to do stuff like that in Germany. Have you ever seen Castle Neuschwanstein? Is that the one that the, the Disney World castles? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've seen the pictures, but never in person. It looks like a film set or something. It doesn't no. really look quite real, does it? It'd be awesome to get the drone up around that, wouldn't it? But I'd imagine I'd get thrown in the clink for that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I forgot to mention it. I was looking at drones the other day. On the website I was looking at, first of all, you have to register your information when you buy a drone because they have to put a sticker on it that says who it belongs to. Seriously? That, that's legal. You have to do that in Germany. And the next link said you have to go through to this link or do it somewhere else, but you have to do it. You have to buy third-party insurance for your drone. Yeah, no, we don't need to do that yet in the UK. You do if you're going to do it commercially. Which yeah. I suppose chucking it on YouTube is, but... Uh, well, it's a grey area at the moment, we'll, I suppose. We'll draw it? a discreet veil over that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you're doing commercially, then you have to have insurance. But just as a hobbyist, nah, not at all. Don't need a licence, don't need anything. There's there's ground rules that you have to adhere to, you know. Yeah, you've, of course. You've, you've got to keep it in sight. No flying near airports, flight paths, all that sort of stuff. 
the DJI app, that has all that stuff built in now. We were talking about it last night, weren't we? So Big Brother is watching. And if you try and fly it somewhere where you're not supposed to fly it, it'll automatically just shut down and prevent you from, from flying. Yeah, in some ways you could say it's a good thing because well, it prevents yeah. you from doing something stupid accidentally. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with that, definitely. Oh, here we go. Right, let's do it. Before the batteries all run out. The twistiest bit always comes just after the batteries have run out, doesn't it? Oh, he's leaning. He's leaning, folks. Oh, he's giving it big lean now. Oh, unbelievable. Rubbish. Ah, excellent. Go as fast as you like, sign Like that. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> Speed camera. Is up. That pillar to the left for the black stripes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, they, they, I think they only face frontwards, but you know, just in case. Yeah. But what I don't know is if that means that they can photograph us from the rear and give us a ticket. I don't think so. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Because I think the law in Germany is that when you get flashed, they send you a photograph. You can obviously say that's not me, but most of the time it is you. It's a great picture of me looking as gormless as possible, and I got flashed the other day on the motor. All right, covered in Andy Mancam stickers. No, that's not me. <laughs> so, I mean, I used to, my Teapot One leathers were all, they were like white leathers emblazoned with Teapot One all over them. <laughs> There's just no getting away from it. <laughs> There's a fat bloke in a white leather suit. Yeah, that's me. I don't know who that is. I've never seen him before. <laughs> if I see a speed camera, I'll slow down anyway. There's no need to take the piss, is there? Not always, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't be a police officer. I tell you, I just shouldn't be. This one's more of a tick than a corner. Come on, get round, get round. begging to put your knee down, aren't you? <laughs> it just feels like I'm a million miles away though. <laughs> you need to get a slider on there for starters. Yeah, one of the wet weather ones is about eight <laughs> inches long. Slider stilts. <laughs> oh no, this is nice. I like this. So glad we went back through that little residential area for this. This is wonderful. Yeah. Whee! This is not so wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit agricultural. Oh, this is turning into a good to be alive day. Awesome. Love it. Oh, what a beautiful road. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's very North Walesy. North Walesy. That's a real thing. It is now. Interesting, Garmin. Off the beaten track, eh? Uh huh. Right. Is this even a real road? Garmin Tour. This used to be a road. I'm glad I've got an adventure bike. <laughs> yeah, me too. Got oh, even this bit's a long way from flat. Magical mystery tour. Oh. There's lunch. Oh. Didn't Getting know we were worse. going to Russia. <laughs> We're gonna pop out in the middle of the courtyard of some Siberian gulag in a minute. Yeah. Hiya! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> That's my wife! Uh, I was only kidding, dear. Where's all that coming from? Somewhere wet. Is that helpful? I can't argue. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'm here to help. What are all these signposts about frogs? What's that all about? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think the I'm going to make the scientific guess that there's some kind of frog migratory path goes through this area. It must be but it must be a pretty substantial path. This is the annoying thing, almost, isn't it? I haven't seen a single frog. No. I'm almost disappointed. They've been promising me so many frogs. <laughs> have you got the hang of the fact as well that they don't have speed limit signs coming into towns or villages? Yes. 
you just you've expected to to slow down aren't you yeah and then generally as soon as you see the yellow sign with the name of the town with a strike through it that means <laughs> all bits are off go nuts all oh, right yeah 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 go as fast as you like say spain's like that as well that you know when you come into little towns and villages you're just expected to slow down okay now you can switch your bike out of mountain goat mode <laughs> <laughs> well it was an adventure yeah. experience so those of you who are keen Andy Man Cam viewers will recognise that little contraption down there. Andy built his own heated vest. How's that going, Andy? Uh, yeah, it kind of smells like burnt hair <laughs> mixed with wet dog. <laughs> but it's working fine. It's exa <laughs> this is how it was designed. You're not cold, so no, 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 no. I mean, my fleece jacket is melted to my skin. But the third degree burns have a warming effect. Exactly, yeah, yeah. What I said to you, when you start leaving a smoke trail like a red arrow, maybe we should turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll leave it to you to tell me when that's happening, but... Yeah, I'll let you know. There's Definitely. been a few moments. <laughs> yeah, you'll let me know just after you've turned the cameras back on. Exactly. Oh, that man, that teapot one, eh? He'll do anything for views. <laughs> I'll do anything to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fun. Obviously, in Germany, you, um, what, you have to wait for every single train in the country to come by? Yeah, pretty much. Is that what happens? It's cause there's a lot of turbulence as well. We have to wait for that to pass. There's been about four trains go by so far and we're still sat here. I want to change that GoPro, but I have to take the gloves off to find the other GoPro, to put the new GoPro in, and then put the gloves back on. And it's really too much like hard effort. The second I undo the Velcro, that train's here, <laughs> isn't it? They'll lift the barrier. Right, no, I'm doing it. Right, gloves off. Right, there's another drift. What's that? It's a cuddly toy. <laughs> Yay, found it. Right, that's one. Let's wipe that off. Wipe that in. Pop that in. Get that in there. Lots of sex noises over the intercom. Uh, stop the clock! Yeah! And we have a winner! Hiya! I think the barriers are broken. I'm bored now. Yeah. Oh, look! Look! See that? That is a fine example of Germans' high speed trains. Germany's high speed train system. Iver. Well, it looks very clean. It does look very clean. It's because it moves too slowly for the dirt to stick to it. <laughs> we have instigated a new fleet of trains called the Tectonic Drift Speed Trains. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was exactly the same point. Yeah, right it was, before. yeah, yeah, look, we're, we're back at exactly the same place. <laughs> How has that happened, is it? I'll tell you what, Andy, you're hired. You're coming away with chicken strips. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a wise choice, Bruce, I really don't. We, we could call it the Lucky Dip Tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm finally back on the road. It feels like we've been stopped for hours. Yeah, our hotel's just over there. <laughs> we've never been more than three miles from it. <laughs> Right, folks, you know what happens when I go in front? Well, hey, programmed a little bit into the old satin nav. So we'll blame it on Garmin if it doesn't go right. We're trying to find somewhere to do a little bit of dronage and a, a wee bit of ride buys. Because otherwise, this is just going to be one big montage. Everybody needs a montage. Right, ready to navigate. I don't do speed limits, as you know, so let me know if I'm... <laughs> if you're in front, I can just say it was your fault anyway. Well, at least I won't need to blot out my number plate. I think speed limits is a... more of a guide. A recommendation. In town, slow down. No, I'm allowed to do this because I'm British. I'm allowed to do it because I'm following you and you're older than me. Honest, he's my dad. I was, <laughs> I was just doing as I was told. Oof, we jolly well. My bike is far too quiet. <laughs> I hadn't noticed, noticed it until now, now that you're in front. Oh, you sit behind the, the exhaust, burping and farting in your face. <laughs> Sadly, that is what she said. All right, you're all clear, nothing here. Roger, all clear, all received. Still clear, all clear. Look at 
that sign on the building. Screw work. <laughs> I like the idea. I didn't notice that. Screw work. Screw work. I want that t-shirt. Red light. Roxanne! <laughs> it really is just one big town. One big frustration. Sounds like marriage. 1.1 miles, we turn left. Roger, left, left, left. Is that taking us? That's not taking us on a motorway. No, it should be avoiding all that. It's 13 degrees. What? 13 degrees. Bloody hell. We've had summers colder than that, haven't we? Oh, I'll be putting my teapot one uh, G-string on for this. Happy days. G-pot one. That's an image. That you can never erase from your mind once you've seen it. This is sending us down the motorway. What? Yeah. So, we've just been on the auto. Well, we are on, on, on the auto van. And it's one of the go as fast as you like, you stretches. Which is what we're doing. There's some interesting smells coming up from this bike. Now, yesterday on the way here, on a downhill stretch, I got it up to, I think it was 138 or 139. Today, about 134, I think. Poor old Andy, he's on an unfair bike there. He must be getting blown about. This is bloody hard work. What are these <laughs> things? Are these speed cameras or? Uh, no, I think they're um, toll cameras for trucks. Oh my God. <laughs> are you all right? Oh, I think my neck's going to fall off. <laughs> That's not too bad a range, actually, that we can still keep in touch. <laughs> Three miles, we're coming off. Exit 16, one six. Oh, that was a quick, quick section. Jesus Christ, my neck. I think at one point I saw 2.59 on the clock. <laughs> it does amaze me at the restraint shown by Germans on this bit of road. This is in the UK, people would just be pinned all the time. <laughs> this is us. So there we go, that's 75 miles covered in four minutes. <laughs> Ta-da! Motorway, done. <laughs> You're right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know I didn't have a lot of wind protection, but I didn't know it was that bad. Oh, I just heard my bike in your intercom. Yeah, you are quite loud. <laughs> <laughs> so is the bike. motorbike sign again. Do you know I didn't even look at that, I didn't clock it. It's alright, they're in a different language. The pictures are in German. <laughs> yeah, motorbikes look different in the UK. <laughs> they're on the other side of the road. They face the other way. What's that sign say? That sign just said, uh, have respect in the curves. Oh, so does that not suggest that bikes are allowed up here? Yeah, that's what I would have said. Stunning road. Oh, that's outstanding. I'll tell you what, this maybe would be good drone territory. Could be. Could be a bit sketchy though, considering bikes aren't really allowed. Valid point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kicking the ass out of it, going backwards and forwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Royally taking them. Well, viewers, um, this is an awesome bit of road, but bikes aren't allowed down it. So, uh, so we did this with CGI. Yeah. Put <laughs> ourselves in in post. We've done this for your benefit, so you can see what this bit of road looks like. Maniac. <laughs> Why would they not let bikes up that road? That's insane. It's Maybe too many of them have died. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, that's bumpy. Oh, let me just swallow my testicles down and I'll answer. <laughs> oh, blimey, that's us at the end of that section now. Oh, really? Yeah. At the end of that whole red route? You no, know, the first bit that I could program ah. in. So we're going to have to do it in stages. This is hot. Look at that house up there. Oh, wow. Right, are we, can we go now? Oh, look at this bend. Oh. 
Does this go as fast as... No, it's not. Oh, no. We should be so bloody lucky. Join Andy and Bruce for a tour of Germany's towns and villages. Oh, lovely. It's quite bumpy, this. Oh, I hadn't noticed. You want to get oh. yourself a proper bike? Oh, I don't need one. I use my spine as a shock absorber. <laughs> The only answer is to always stay on the throttle. And that's your excuse, officer. <laughs> I'd love to have slowed down, officer, but you see, it's like this. I reckon he'd take it. And the excuse. We need to get up there to the left somehow, don't we? Yeah, we're heading up that way. Marvellous. Right, drift on, GoPro on. <laughs> You'll thank me. What do you film at? 60 frames per second? Yeah. Ah, yeah. cool. Oh, excellent. So this is 19 miles an hour limit. All the way, all the way to the hotel. I find if you can't have fun at 19 miles an hour, then you're just <laughs> doing it wrong. I'm thinking, at the top, drone. Yep. Right, oh, I, can't, I can't take this. I'm going to have to take it. Nice little road, isn't it? It's lovely. It's a shame about that speed yeah. limit nonsense. Oh, there it is, look. There's the oh, magic sign. Oh, there we go. Go as fast as you like, you say. Whoa, that's tighter than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fourth gear was a little bit low for that one. Yeah. <laughs> tightened up a lot more than it did. Ready for a bit of grub, I think. Ready for yeah. my din -dins. Me too. Maybe even a jar or two. Do you know what? I might have a beer. Yeah. Just to try something new. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard lots of people talk about it. It sounds great fun. We're going to have to try and get a wee carry out for the live stream. Oh, I see. That's rather pleasing on the eye. For the benefit of my girlfriend, I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't notice anything. <laughs> oh God, yeah, we're being recorded. Delete that. <laughs> my wife will cut me a new one. Oh, look, another little village. It was the one thing I actually found quite frustrating about riding through the Black Forest was the roads there are absolutely amazing. But again, every five kilometers, there's another village. Yeah, that's why I love sort of northern Spain. You're just out there free. If you plot your route properly, you, you can miss most of the built up places. There's not that many in the first place. Lovely. How'd you say that place? Grubeck. 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 Grubeck, yeah. That was a nice little stretch. And thank God, another 50 mile an hour spinning. <laughs> 50 mile an hour? That'd be a... That'd be awesome. Yeah. My back teeth are floating yet again. Need another pee. stretches are there? No, the most you get is a couple of minutes. That's what she said. <laughs> I think that's Armsburg there, isn't it? Well, it's literally that's where our hotel is. There's yeah. been some real lovely little stretches. Yeah, unfortunately, all the bit this morning when it was all wet. Oh, I know. Just have to come back. Yeah, this afternoon was had potential, but just didn't fully deliver, did it? Too many people living in homes and stuff. But we're still out on the bike, so we can't moan, can yeah. we? Yeah, well, of course not. We're still hooning around the countryside. And we just have to make a montage out of it. <laughs> montage. Everybody loves a montage! Yeah, there it is. Digs for the eve. Einfahrt! Oh, well that 
that is that then? No drone. Bollocks. Yeah, shame about that. There were a few things counting against us. Like the, the best areas just were speed limits or bikes forbidden. <laughs> bikes forbidden. Ridiculous. Well, my man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming all this way. Quite all right. It has been an absolute pleasure. Let's go and get rat <laughs> I'm in.